So I've got this King's 100 watt, 110 watt flexible solar panel up here on the roof which I've mounted. As you can see it's um, kind of been a bit warped here from the sun. Don't know if that's going to be causing issues long term. A little bit of a uh, bird poo on the top of it by the looks of it. I've got it hooked up to my lithium ion battery here. Lithium phosphate battery, sorry. And it's for it's midday, so they're getting full sun here. And we're reducing 99 watts, 6.29 amps. So at the moment I've got it running through this Renergy charge controller, DC to DC 50 amp charge controller. That's a little Bluetooth module, which you see I've got stuck up here. Um, yeah, so that means I can connect to the Bluetooth and I can see exactly how much charge power I'm pulling, etc. at the moment. So I'll turn this inverter on running this induction cooktop. It's only 1300 watts going through. Okay, it's producing, that has made a difference. So you can see that 99 to 100 watts is its max power it's pulling in the middle of the day with full sun. Which is pretty good because it's rated 110 watt. Yes, yeah, so you can see at the moment. We're in full sun, middle of day, 12 p.m. We're pulling 107 watts, so we're getting close to the full 110 watts of the solar panels rate. Oh, there you go, 109 watts. So that's pretty impressive, really. But um, as you can see, it's already kind of got a bit of a flex there, as I showed you earlier. The panel from the heat seems to be warping a little bit. So I'll see. It'll be really interesting to see in six months' time whether it still produces this much power or whether the sun's going to just wreck it. So we have a strong Australian sun here. Yeah, I left that flip around here as you can see the reason I kind of mounted it so sitting a bit off the roof there is I wanted to try and give a bit of an air gap under there so that the panel didn't get too hot in the sun I'm not sure if that's going to be a good idea an ox might end up causing more damage to the panel over the long term but uh, just a bit of a test so I've just put this uh, Renergy 50 watt fixed panel up on the roof here beside the King's flexible panel. Just testing performance and see how it compares. We got full sun up there. If you look, it's perfectly clear day. Perfect maximum sun. And you can see here we're only pulling 35, 34 watts of power. It's a little bit disappointing compared to the uh, flexible panel, which is pretty much putting out the 410 watts, which is rated to. This is meant to be 50 watts, it's only doing 34 watts at the moment, so. Okay, now I've um, got the flexible 100 watt energy panel up on the roof here. It's in full sun still. You can see we've got no full sun, no clouds at all. So moment you can see we've only got 75 watts of charge power. It's meant to be a 100 watt panel. So we're pulling 75 watts at the moment. So, as you can see there, the uh, King's one seems to push a lot more power out of it as well for the size. King's ones are actually a bit... Uh, shorter and a bit, a bit wider than these uh, energy ones but the thing is the energy ones are only half the weight so they're two kilos versus the four kilos of the king's panel but the king's panel seems to push out an extra 30 or 40 watts for the same size so that's pretty impressive really king's ones seem to be pretty good um i think it's quite strange that they actually make them black though the full panel is black i think that would make them very hot especially in the Australian hot sun. So I'm interested to see how that holds up over time. At the moment we can see that the Renergy panel definitely doesn't produce as much power as the King's one, but the difference could be that the Renergy panel might last a lot longer, I'm not sure. Um, and also it's half the weight, which is good. So the Renergy panel has a five year warranty and a 25 year performance warranty. Yeah, so flexible solar panels are not known to be very reliable long term, especially in Australian sun, they seem to get like over even just a year one year period they tend to lose a lot of their performance and they can get warped etc so that's to be the next test for these panels in about six months time i'll do another review and see how they're holding up because i plan to put both these on the roof and we'll see how performance is over time as you can see initially the king's panel definitely has more power puts out about 30 or 40 watts more so interesting seeing about six months after they've had harsh sun um which one performing better